Today is June 18th, 2022. It is a Saturday. It is day 130-something of Blender. I don't know. Um, today I'm just going to try to replicate this face over here. I'll start by um, doing Control 2 to add a subdivision surface modifier. Um, another way you could do this is by going to the wrench icon, which is modifier properties, and then going to add modifiers, going to the generate column, and then scrolling all the way down and clicking subdivision surface. Basically what this does is that it smooths out the curves of the mesh, and so because it's a cube, it's basically smoothing out all of the curves of the cube to a point where it becomes a UV sphere, as you can see on the screen. Anyway, I'm going to go into edit mode by pressing on tab, or you can just press over here top left corner and then go to edit mode. I'm going to click on face select, which is the top left corner next to the edit mode drop down thingy. And then I'm going to select this face. I'm going to do G to grab, Z to grab on the blue axis, which is the Z axis. And then I'm going to do control R. Actually, before doing that, I'm going to press the button under the escape key and go to front view or hover over front. And then I'm going to do control R to add a loop cut, hover over an edge, click, and then drag all the way up. Control R for a loop cut, hover over edge, click, drag all the way down. Okay, now we have kind of like a cylinder looking thing. All right. At this point, I'm going to turn on my x-ray toggle by doing Alt-Z, or I can just scroll all the way over here and just turn it on this way by clicking on the x-ray icon here. Alright, um, and then I'm going to try to replicate the shape. I don't know. So I'll start basically by kind of doing Control r and adding loop cuts to where I see I'm going to have, like, um, any changes. Alright, so... Possibly something like this. Grab this face here. Something like that. Control R, put something in here. Scale it. Control R, maybe here. Or not. Alt. Scale a little bit down. Alt, scale a little bit like this, maybe I should have done GZ and move it a little bit upwards. Alright, maybe, is that, is that, is that, is that looking right? Does that look right? I don't know. I don't know, I can't tell. Um, I think that looks right. Maybe it, I'll go back to edit mode, control, what the, edit mode, control R, and then maybe put one over here, and then maybe... Maybe another one here. Scale this one. Actually, no, then it's going to start looking weird. I just feel like it's very robust. Alt select this. Alt select that. No, I'm ruining it. I'm ruining it. So, control Z, control Z. Back to how I had it. Um, Go back to object mode by pressing tab again. Right click, shade smooth, turn on. Alt C. I mean, it looks weird, honestly. I'm gonna go to add modifier, add a subdivision surface to kind of make it a little bit prettier. What if I add a bevel? Um, is this a geometry node? We don't need that. Um, do that before or not? Okay, I guess not. Let me delete this. Oh, here we go again. If this thing deletes, I'm literally not starting a new blender. I'm not. I'm really not. Okay, let's wait. Are you kidding me, right? You know, embarrassing. Okay, I'm just deleting this. Okay. Alright, um, only thing is, these thingies at the top here, very unnecessarily thick. Um, so we need to fix that. Um, maybe scale it down this down. Now it just looks like a balloon. Never mind. Maybe if I do one here, scale this upwards. It's just this should be larger, but it shouldn't be that big. Maybe it should. Oh yeah, I think it looks better that way. All right, turn off Alt Z. Okay, that looks better. Um, what I'll do is I'll go here, back into edit mode, 
and I'll select this face here by pressing on face select and then deleting that face so that it's open and then yeah that's pretty much it um, now I'm going to go and do the little thingy it's on so I'm gonna do mesh add a cube G Z bring it down scale it by pressing S G Z by Z I mean Z by the way um, maybe scaling it a little bit down G Z I'm gonna do shift tab to turn on snapping or you can go top at the top over here and turn on snapping with this little magnet icon and snap to face so that when I do G Z it's gonna snap to the bottom over here whatever I touch now you can see that it's literally on top of it all right now um I'm going to do myself a favor, and I'm just going to rotate this on, nope, nope, never mind, never mind, literally never mind. Alright, um, what was I going to do again? Okay, I need a little, I need that marble texture, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to ambient CG I think it's I think that's what it's called um, ambient CG and I'm gonna try to get like a marble texture let me see well, the only thing that's closest is either this one or this one, but I think I'm going to go with which one's closest. I don't know, so maybe this. I don't know. I can't tell. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to download the 4KP G version, and then what else do I need? Um, let's, let's see. How about ceramic? Or maybe like something like... I was going to say cement, but no. Ceramic. How about cement? Pavement. No. Um, let's see. Okay, let me search. While I search, I'm gonna pause. Alright, so I basically found this um plaster texture and I downloaded the 4K version. Now that that happened. This is kind of like a quick, oh, don't mind my book. Okay, um, this is kind of like a quick tutorial on how to basically um, set these up in Blender. So you'll want to take them, right? It's going to pop up. If it's not, then just find it. And then just, I like to drag them to my desktop one at a time, okay? Um, this is the marble. Okay, so I'm going to right click on my desktop and click new and then do new folder. I'm just going to set it equal to marble. And I'm just going to drag all of these inside that folder. Okay, and then put that there. And then I'm going to do the same thing for my plaster. And while that does that, I'm going to do right click. And um, new and then new folder. I'm going to call it um, plaster. That's not how you spell plaster, but we're going to go with it. Um, so drag everything into that folder. And then just leave it there and then go to Blender. And then you go to shading, okay? Um, at this point, you might want to save your Blender file because it could freeze just like it's doing right now. You're kidding me. Oh my god, I'm going to cry at this thing. Okay, okay. Okay, control S, control S before it literally crashes. Okay, 6, 18, 22. Save Blender file. Okay. All right, so, okay. Now we click on new and we do control shift T. Now, that might not work if you don't have your Node Wrangler on. So you might want to go to edit, preferences, um, add ons, and then search up Node Wrangler. And turn that on over here okay now while selecting the principal BSDF you want to do control shift T and currently I'm selecting the cube by the way so I'm going to apply the marble material so I'm going to go to my desktop which is where I have that folder and I'm just going to find where I have my marble and I'm just gonna select everything right and I'm just gonna click on principal texture setup which is what we're doing this is a principal texture setup 
um, and then it should apply the texture on that cube in which we will see in a second when it decides to work any day now before it freezes and crashes like it always does that is literally the most horrifying thing I've ever seen in my life it's literally like pavement ew yeah no this is a no for me okay I'm gonna fix that later but right now I'm gonna do new control shift T and then I'm gonna go back here to desktop and do the um plaster which I couldn't even spell right and then I'm gonna go back here and try to find I think I have a marble already like tell me how that works because that's so ugly nah it's just me right I have to fix that it's probably just me it's probably just the cube I have to fix it like like what is this Alright, so why is it coming up so horrifying? It literally looks ancient. Okay, who told you to map this? Why is it like that? This is like genuinely horrifying. Okay, hold on. Let me try to see what I can do here if I understand this. I don't know. Um, haven't looked at displacement yet. Normal, normal, normal mapping. Where's the roughness? Um, roughness. because I literally want to know why it's so so ugly this never happens why is it like that what is this monstrosity You know what, at this point, um, I'm going to leave it how it is. I'm just going to change this because it's literally so ugly. Delete that, and I'd rather just go to modify, just click new, and just change the base color to be something like the plaster that I saw on the image on the white ceramic base. So I'll do um, my color picker, get that color. If it ever wants to work, hello. Any day now. Okay, um, F5 EBE2. So go into here, base color, go to hex, paste that in there. Should be something like that. And we're just gonna leave it like that because girl is done right now. Control S, go to render. Oh my god, that's literally so weird. Um, actually, it's not weird. It actually looks really nice, but still. Um, it should be marble, not rock. Okay, I'm going to join area, move that here. I'm going to turn this little light into a sun by going to object data properties, pressing on the sun over here, turning it to probably 5. GZ, move that a little bit up. GX, move that a little bit to the right. Um, and then turning the render engine to cycles. And then waiting. Okay, control S before it freezes. Shift A add a backdrop so I'll do a plane to do that so I'll do scale S for scaling GZ to scale it Make sure my snapping is on which it is okay so I'll do GZ is it not snapping to the face 
What's going on? There we go. Just turn this off a little. It's fine. Alright, um, scale that a little bit more. Go to solid view, top right over here. Edit mode, edge select, edge select E to extrude, Z or Z to extrude on the Z axis, which is the blue axis. Switch a little bit, add modifier, um, add a bevel, and that's going to be our little backdrop here. Go back into edit mode by pressing out by clicking tab, shade smooth, S to scale on the X axis, so S and then X, and then S and then Y to scale on the Y axis. Zoom in, go to um, our render preview. Um, why is the light not working? Oh, I told. Oh, whoops. I said spot instead of um sun. All right, and then I'm going to go here and just go to colors to get a nice color to make my backdrop. Palette generator. And one second. All right, so I think I'm going to go with this color. So I'm going to backdrop by just pressing there, going to material properties, which is icon over here, adding new, going to base color, going to hex, and then changing my color to that color right there. Okay, I'm going to zoom in, right? I'm going to make this a little shorter. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do control alt zero so that my camera aligns to my view. Now that's not going to work if let me go edit preferences um, input turn on my emulate numpad because I don't have a numpad anymore so I'm going to do control alt zero because it's actually control alt numpad zero to kind of set my thing up and then control alt zero why is it like that so weird render render image I probably should have done oh I forgot okay hold on um, I'm going to go here, turn on, first of all, control S because literally, okay, render, go to light paths, um, direct lighting set to 10, and direct lighting 4, and then delete this render. Cancel this render, control S, cancel, um, and then maybe I want to do something like this, control alt zero. Why is it like that? Is it because it's super small? How about we scale it? sucks okay how about I go to solid oh you know what I could do um I could just select everything scale it downwards go here control s control zero there we go it was because it was too big. I just need to be zoomed in a little bit more. Nope. There we go. Okay, now I want to render this image. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have turned the roughness all the way to down, I don't even know. Oh my god, look, it's looking more. Why? Okay, I don't know what's going on because my cycles, it never, ever takes four hours. Is this thing like going absolutely Because what? Um, edit, 
Hold on. Bit preferences. It's looking like marble though. Um, no viewport. No. Where's my stuff? Map system. There we go. Cuda copy okay facts. Make default. Hmm. Oh. Is that one? Is that why it's taking? Render. Nah, bro. Oh, well, either way, you get the point. Ooh. Oh, so we do see, like, the marble texture, kind of. And it's probably like that because I played around with the roughness a little bit, which kind of messed it up. But turns out okay. Um, anyway, you can see the actual final render in my blender logs, if I could find them. Is this it? I don't know. We'll see. Um, yeah, I always post them here. Okay, yeah. You should see it in day 131. Um, I, I think I've never...